This little tool, what it's designed to do, my favorite, just export. Hey, let's take the definitions or, uh, from this file for all of the item types. So what it's going to do is take what you see here, and it's going to take all of these values, and it's going to put these into a spreadsheet that I then can go into, I could go into Excel, and then import that back in using these same tools. So rather than having to do the editing in here, which is fine, the editing in here is fine, but it is a little more efficient done in the Excel world. So anyway, there is an import and export that was added. Now, I mentioned to you the benefit of, you know, what's the benefit of having this item data? Well, here's what where the benefit is, is that if we were to look at uh, our reports, for example, I've got just two simple reports, one that runs everything on everything to do with drainage. And then I have one that just looks for piping. I'm going to run the one that looks for piping. And here's why it's important is that within one report, uh, for you guys that have worked with the reports, this literally is all it's doing is looking for the item types and automatically in that report, it will have all my properties about my piping, but it has length, cost, and weight. Again, why, you know, you might say, well, geez, that was the EC expressions that provided that. I could just do that, you know, with a line. What that would do is very much complicate your report. You then would have to add to your report another, oops, over here, uh, a related item and say a line. And then it would, you'd have to merge those two together. So this is a much faster, much more efficient way to do it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.